Yes. All it took was a boat. And 12 years after the September 11th attacks, we were able to get just a few hundred yards from this nuclear plant, only 25 miles up the Hudson River from America's largest city. What's more, it looks easy to get much closer. Is the plant safe? Sometimes. Fox 5 interviewed five current and former security guards of Indian Point Nuclear Plant in Westchester County. All of them offered disturbing details about security at the plant that seems at best lax and at worst potentially deadly. Based upon what you know about the security of this plant, should it be allowed to continue operating? Absolutely not. It doesn't get any more serious in regards to security. Skip Travis and Jason Hetler are both former security lieutenants at Indian Point who are now suing the plant's owner, Entergy. Tom Nicolosi, a third former lieutenant, is considering a lawsuit. They all say security is a mess, yet they say they were punished for raising concerns. Jason quit after being put on leave without pay. Skip and Tom were fired. We are protecting the identities of the current employees. Why are you talking to us? I think people need to know how serious this is. I can't speak to any individual who works here and their personnel, uh, individual personnel issues. Jerry Nappy is a spokesman for Indian Point. We encourage employees to raise issues. Security at Indian Point is, is very robust. The company spent more than $100 million just at this site in the last several years to enhance security. One of those investments was a new computer system, which controls a alarms and cameras in the area around the reactors. But the lawsuits say that system was plagued by false alarms and has crashed hundreds of times. Our sources tell us it can take a few minutes or several hours to restore. What don't you have access to? Your alarms. You have no alarm capability. Cameras? Uh, the cameras that are tied into the computer system for uh, call-up, you don't have access to that either. The system initially did have some challenges, but since those have been worked out, it's worked very well. Fox 5 obtained this internal document from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, which shows that Entergy was cited for the crashes and for failure to track, trend, and correct the computer malfunctions. Those initial problems were worked out, and security was never compromised. But were the problems only worked out after the NRC slapped the company's hand? The, 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 the computer system is, again, very sophisticated. Why would they write that, though, that energy failed to track and correct the problem? Well, initially, the, because there were challenges. Another complaint in one of the lawsuits is that Indian Point has falsified records submitted to the NRC showing how many hours guards work. The facility is understaffed in security officer ranks and even more so in the supervisory ranks. The plant spokesman says the company has hired more guards and any mistakes were accidental. But security guards say they were routinely asked to work long hours, in some cases 24 hours straight. And over the summer, sources say three guards were even caught sleeping on the job. Snoring and yes, sleeping. Is that true? I'm not aware of those specific concerns. There have been uh, a couple of issues over the last 10 years that I'm aware of. Uh, if that is the case, it's, it's dealt with as a, as a personnel matter. Perhaps most concerning, our sources say the security force at Indian Point often fails practice drills, which simulate a terrorist attack. The company says that's not true. The plant passes all the drills graded by the NRC. Allegations of sleeping guards, a faulty alarm system, and failed drills. Is this plant safe? No. It would be funny if it wasn't so scary. I mean, this is this is Keystone Cops at its worst. Philip Musigas works for Riverkeeper, a nonprofit focused on keeping the Hudson River clean. It's long argued for Indian Point to be closed over both environmental and security issues. There is absolutely nothing on the water to stop a waterborne attack. There's no security force in sight on the water, no security boat. The only thing that separates us from that nuclear power plant is a line of buoys that say, keep out. The problems have added up. This federal report issued last month shows since 2000, Indian Point has been issued more violations by the NRC than any other nuclear plant in the country. Those are not high-level concerns or safety issues uh, at a significant level. Um, we are judged a safe and secure plant. With absolute certainty, I believe Indian Point should be closed forever. Ben Simino, Fox 5 News.